Well, good evening everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. Um, the other day I made a video. I located the uh, tire changing kit, I guess you'd call it. The uh, jack and then the tools to do that inside the Tundra back there. And uh, then I got to thinking, you know, I ought to lower that rear tire, take a look at it, see if there's any air in it. Um, because I've never done that at least with this truck. I have lowered tires on other pickup trucks a couple of times in the past, but never the Tundra. So we're going to pull out that uh, tool kit and uh, take a look and see how easy it is to lower that tire and take a look at the tire as well. And then I might also see about putting that jack somewhere underneath here and see if you can actually jack the truck up with it. Um, it looks way too high to be able to do that to me, so I don't know. We're going to find out. So let's go ahead and, uh, and pull the jack as well as the tool kit. And if you recall, there's my list of I don't know what. Um, it's a little bit of a chore to do that. Let's see. This time we're going to take the jack out first. I don't see any way possible how this thing can possibly reach up high enough to, to jack up the truck, but... Hey, it is for the truck. It's supposed to work, right? I don't know. So let's uh, let's get this thing out of here. It should just lift right out of there, I think. There. It's quite heavy, I'll tell you that, for the size that it is. Go ahead and pull the tools. You know, they make it so difficult. To do. Uh, all right, we've got the tools out, and I want to go back here and look real quick at the slot to see just exactly where you're supposed to uh, <laughs> supposed to put this. I assume right here in this square opening should catch on the uh, the hoochie that you use to lower that tire that's under there. So I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod so uh, we can put the tools together and, uh, and see how that works. Be right back. So, pull everything out of here. We have one bar. It's supposed to fit uh, into another bar. Not that way. Not that way. It has a hole in one end and a nub. You guys can see there, so that's where it's supposed to fit. All right, and then we have one of two nubs. Hmm. So we have another hole and another nub. So we're gonna stick that in there, like so. And then we have this uh, really long bar, <laughs> and uh, the lug wrench, I guess. It fits over the edge, and that's what you're supposed to use. Look at this highly uh, awkward piece of stuff here. Look at this thing. It's huge. But you're supposed to hook this in there under the tire and then crank it. So let's go back there and give that a try. All right, we're going to see if I'm sticking this thing in there. See what happens. So there is a slit I showed you guys earlier right there. know how in the world you're supposed to know and you've got it wow I guess that's good reason to practice this before you ever really need it there if you put it straight in you can feel it grab something in there and we just did so now let me back a hair here since this thing's eight miles long but you can definitely feel it grab in there. It kind of goes into some sort of an indent, I guess. So, let's see. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can't turn this thing and lower this tire. supposed to be lowering. doesn't feel like it to me. Careful not to hit yourself in the head with this thing. I don't see the tire moving at all. 
So, let's crawl underneath there and see if we can see exactly how this thing All fits. Right, I'm going to bring you guys under here with me. And uh, see where in the world this thing is actually going. Okay, we're under here, and I was having some trouble, of course. But if you guys can see that silver uh, part, let's see if I can get my shadow out of the way. Right there, that silver piece right there. And hopefully you can even see the black tool coming out of it. That's where you're supposed to insert the tool and then rotate that thing so that it lowers the tire. Wow. Um, actually, it's, it's probably not bad once you know what you're aiming for, but until you do, you actually get under here and look. I'd hate to be doing this if it were snowing or pouring down rain or whatever, freezing outside, and not knowing that that's what you're aiming for when you're trying to stick your tool in there. So, now that we have that, we're going to see uh, if we can actually lower this thing. Alright, here we go. Let's, uh, let's give this uh, take number two. Try this again. We do have it in the uh, slot you guys can see there so wow. hopefully it's lowering I believe it is and there it comes if you guys can see it dangling underneath there or not uh, right there. So let's go ahead and lower it all the way. It is uh, counterclockwise to lower it. There we go. I'm not going to go any further than that. Um, let me go grab a tire gauge. Okay. Got my uh, favorite tire gauge here, the green one. So I'm going to bring you guys down with me under here. And we're going to see if this thing has any air in it. Okay, looks like we got lucky and the uh, valve stem is right here. So this should have either 30 or 33 pounds in it, depending on whether you're using it in the front or the back. Um, obviously, you'd want 33 because that's the most you would need if you're trying to be dead on. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and check. This thing has 36 and a half pounds. You guys can see that. Check it one more time for accuracy's sake. 36 and a half pounds, I'd say. So we're good. And it's not bad to have even a little extra in it because with temperature change and pressure change and all that kind of stuff with the weather, um, you can lose air in the tire. So uh, you do pick up some junk in there. You guys can see that. A little bit of, oh, I don't know, grit and gravel and whatever. But otherwise, not too bad. Not too bad. It is a full-size spare, so uh, that's a good thing. You don't have to screw with one of these donuts or temporaries. So let's go ahead and roll this thing back up, and then we're going to go test the jack real quick. Okay, rolling it back up should be the same uh, as when we lowered it, of course, except now we're going to be going clockwise. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Once you break it loose for the first time, it's really not... Uh, not too difficult. I think I'd rather it were mounted on the back or something, but you know, if I actually had to do this for real, it might be kind of a drag. And I'm surprised more of these don't get stolen, you know, if you have the tool, which anybody can get, it'd be pretty easy to take the tire, you know. I'm just going to crank that a little, about where it was, which is about right there. Take a quick quick peek, and everything looks good to me. So, now, see if we can't remove this. Ooh. 
voila, we have the tool back and uh, have lowered the tire. So not that difficult to do once you know what you need to look for as far as where this end needs to go. Um, and I don't know that they do a great job of telling you that unless you crawl under there and look yourself. And I actually would suggest um, to anybody that has a truck to get under there and take a peek just so that you're familiar in case uh, there's a real world event and you actually have to do this. Probably wouldn't hurt to know. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't put that jack underneath and uh, see if it actually works. Mm -hmm. 